Hi guys, this is Ken1171 here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the new features in uh, the Scatter Tool uh, 2 for Poser 12, and where one of the new features is the ability of painting uh, where you want things to be scattered directly on the object or surface where things are going to be scattered. So here I have uh, the basic poser plane, the poser ground, and uh, I put a couple of trees in a stump to get started. And what we want to do here is I want to create one of the images used in the promos, the one that has a little pond. And um, let's do that here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce the scale of the ground plane to 90%. Which gives me um, more more spots to scatter things in a smaller area. And then next thing I do is I got the um, morphing tool, and I use the push tool on surface to um, create some ups and downs uh, morph. And this is what I came up with. Um, just some random ups and downs to give uh, the terrain a little more interesting features and uh, a deeper area in the middle here where I'm going to put my water. So with that done, I'm ready to get started. I already have two trees and a stump in place and uh, there is a bunch of stuff I want to scatter like grass and plants. Uh, but before that, um, I want to put uh the water and the way i did that is i went to the uh, to the library and the props library and i got one of those one-sided square and i scaled it up so that it covers uh, the area i want the water to be so this is just a one a single poly uh, uh square um that i'm going to use to to create the water how do i do that I created a uh, cycles material uh, that uh, looks like water with a li little bumps. You can see here, because in the current poser version, we cannot see uh, cycles previews yet. Maybe in the future we will. So I'll, I will do a little render so you can see what it looks like. And here it comes. Um, kind of looks like water. Uh, and that's what we're going to work with. So this is what we have so far. All right, so let's bring the scatter tool. And to get started, um, I already have the ground selected. Um, I need to create the area I want to. Let me see if it's already there. Yes, it is. OK, let's do something first. This is the most important part. So um, let me hide all the other stuff. And um, let's bring the. Uh, first of all, let's select the ground. Let's bring the grouping tool here, and you see I already painted the area I want. But let's do. Let's say um, I didn't paint. I'm gonna start this from scratch. So having the ground selected, you know it's selected because it turns gray. Let's create a new group here in the grouping tool. I'm going to call this the scatter area. It can be anything you like. Doesn't matter. Remember, this name is going to show later. And I'm going to uh, select the draw pen. And as you can see here, uh, everywhere I paint becomes red. And this is where things are going to be scattered. All right. So what do I want to do with this? I want to put uh, the grass and all the plants away from the water. So I'm not, I don't want any grass in the water and things like that or growing on top of the tree. So I'm going to leave a little space there for uh, the tree so that uh, we don't have plants growing on top of it. Let's remove by holding control. We can remove and by just clicking, we add. So I left a little square there for the tree. And uh, here I don't want any, anything growing on top of the stump. So I'm going to leave it space for it. And then let's say like this. That looks about good. 
maybe one here, and we're done. With this, I can close the group editor, and I have my scatter area already painted. Now, again, let's bring the scatter tool. And uh, here, we have in brown selected. Over here, you'll see it shows that name of the area we created uh, with the grouping tool. With this now, means that whatever I scatter from now on is only go gonna be covering the, the area we had painted in red. So let's get started. I'll start with grass. Let's see, where's my grass here? I want like 130 of those. Um, I'm going to add positional jitter, not much, just enough so that we have some variety. Um, let's say, yeah, two or three, doesn't have to be much. I'm gonna put three, which means probably some of them are gonna spill out of the plan, the plane, but that's okay. Let's add the uh, wire scale, this new feature to, uh, to like 150. And the uh, align, align to surface in version two is now enabled by default. In the original version, you have to enable it manually. All right, so let's get started. Um, this is gonna take a while. You will notice the more objects we add to the scene, the slower poser gets, that's normal. You're putting a lot of objects on the scene. So um, as it does its job, you will notice that some of the grass will end up a little outside um, this, the, the uh, scatter plane. That's because of the new position of jitter, which uh, keeps things from falling exactly over vertices like it was in the first version. A lot of people complained, though now that's resolved. But we have a side effect that because of jitter is random, some, some stuff may end up outside the plane. We can just drag it back, no biggie. And uh, once we do that, here it is. Let's see what we have now. Um, all right, so I have the grass, the trees, the water. Let's keep adding things. I'm gonna add uh, some creepers. I'm gonna add like 30 of these. I don't want uh, Y scale and don't want a line to surface on this because uh, uh, things like flowers, they grow straight up from the ground. They don't tilt with the terrain. All right, so let's scatter it. Here it goes. 30 shouldn't take long this time. Notice how so far nothing has fa fallen inside the water or uh, on top of the stump or the trees. That's, that's really great. That's what I wanted. Now some foxtail. Just a little bush. So far, so good. And um, when he finishes, we're going to add a little fern. There you go. Um, 30 of this fern. This should add uh, enough uh, variety for our little scene. And when it's done, uh, we're going to do two things. First, we're going to see from the top view if I need to push something inside. Yeah, maybe this one, maybe this one. Um, there you go. All right. And uh, let's see how much space I have left. And whatever space I have left, I'm going to cover with grass. So we have 28. I'm going to try to put 90, and it's, give me, it's going to automatically calculate the maximum number of uh, empty spaces I still have on this surface, which is 28. Okay, I'm gonna enable um, scale Y, which is gonna make taller grass. Uh, let's put 250. Uh, I'm gonna increase the size maybe to 90. Uh, align to surface, yes, and go. And this is the last part. We are almost there. Um, 28 shouldn't take long, there you go. Now, the tool is telling me I have zero spaces left, so I can close it. It has done its, its job already. Not, not, not much I can do else with it. Let's again, save this scene, always good to save. There you go. 
Remember the, the scatter grouping we have, which is this transparent cube in the center of the scene. Look how, 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 it, how it helps organizing your scenes by putting like the hundreds of objects we scattered inside of it. So I don't need to see it. And what's more, if I click the little eye here, I can, um, make everything that was added, added by the scatter tool invisible with one click. That was one of the advantages. One of the main reasons why I put it there is this, this level of organization we get. All right. Let's put everything back. Let's take a look from the top view. Let's move the things that fell off back inside. All right. And let's position the camera. And let's do a uh, test render. <clears throat> As we can see here, we have almost 300 objects uh, on the scene. It's a lot, but that's okay. Posa can handle it. All right, this is what it looks like. Only thing that bothers me here is that the plane is just a, a simple color. So what, what, what we're going to do here is we're going to select the ground plane. It's so full here. I don't know if I can grab it, but yeah, I can. So it's just a dark gray. What I did is I created a turbulence uh, shader node to add a little variation to the ground. I'm just plugging it to the color. And now you see it blends better with the plants. And uh, let's render again now. It should be a little more... Um, the ground less visible than it was before comparing to the plants because the material gives it a more, a better blend, as you can see. And this, guys, is how I made that promo you see from the scatter tool, um, which demonstrate many of the new features, uh, that the tool has, like positional jitter, um, uh, random height on plants. You will notice here some parts of the grass are taller than others. That's a new feature. And the most of all, uh, painting areas where you want to, uh, to scatter, which gives uh, pretty good control over where things are going to be showing up on your scatter plane. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. Thank you for watching.